the first attempt of bitsart is over and many of you had done really really well but at the same time a lot of people were asking me bhaiya we have a second attempt left we want to do well in at least that please guide us and please help us so that we ace the second attempt that's what we're going to be talking about in this video today if you're new here my name is hari and i got 314 bitsart 2019 so let's just get started in the video After talking to several people who wrote bits at first attempt across different different papers and different different ships, we gathered some insights which would be useful for people in general. So in physics, many of the students were telling me that there were a lot more questions coming from eleven standard topics such as mechanics, and then in some ships, people were saying that there were close to eight to ten, ten, twelve questions, and in some questions, some sessions, it was close to thirteen to fifteen questions. So the number of questions in mechanics has increased a lot, and even earlier chapters such as new units and dimensions, loss of motion, kinematics, work energy part, this was given a lot of emphasis. So the people who did not actually prepare well in mechanics, they suffered a lot. They felt that every question was stuff and there was a lot of emphasis of tough questions in mechanics and if we talk about english many of the students said that the english section was very easy and even if you've done well in like 10th standard 11th standard english you'll be able to do well there were different different types of questions one was related to comprehension type of questions there were certain other type of questions which which was like finding the incorrect part of the sentence and finding synonyms antonyms and even if you read the sentence you'll be able to understand okay what is the actual meaning of this word what is the antonym of the word this was not very difficult because when i wrote bits at the kind of difficulty in english questions was significantly higher and the other thing to notice is that lr may there were 20 questions in total close to five to six questions were on the tougher side some of them said that the numerical patterns alpha numerical pattern questions were slightly tougher whereas overall in general the questions came easier which means that close to 15 questions were easy and five questions were kind of tough and at the same time mathematics a lot of questions were asked in three three geometry close to four five questions from each session and at the same time a lot a lot of emphasis was given to permutation combination probability there were questions which had a lot of card based questions and questions which involved you to have an application of both permutation combination and probability as well and inside coordinate geometry there were a lot of emphasis given to straight lines and circles some of the people said that parabola had not was not given much weightage and some people said there were a lesser amount of questions coming from the later part of the coordinate geometry questions again this is all student collected information there are different sessions and different questions across different papers so it may not be 100% accurate but to give you an overall glimpse in chemistry organic chemistry the weightage has been reduced a lot there were close to only 5 to 6 7 questions in organic chemistry and there was a lot of weightage which is given to inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry especially the related topics in block elements the p block elements s block elements and in that finding the reducing ability of a p block element group in the p block element and several other things were given a lot of weightage and even tough chapters like iron and equilibrium but as this was so that they can differentiate the toppers on people who were you know people who were me mediocrely prepared right so this is the overall review that i got from students who have taken some who are in our community and who have taken the mocks and who were really happy about the mocks in general right and now given that we have all of this information what are we going to do with this information and how do we actually position ourselves to do extremely well in the second attempt The first thing I'm going to tell you is that you need to break down your concepts into different different sections. You need to understand what is your strong area, what is your medium area, and what is your weak areas as well. And now you, that you have given the first attempt, you know the kind of questions that are going to come. You know the weightage, and you know the kind of questions that are coming from for Bitsat. And trust me, in Bitsat second attempt, you the entire paper level may not go higher, but as I said before, the competition has increased a lot. So. you will be forced to attempt tougher questions in the second attempt which means that people will be better prepared therefore the cutoffs might go higher because generally the second attempt of most people go better than the first attempt now after knowing all this information how do we actually go about improving in the next attempt the first thing i have to realize that you need to understand which category do you belong to are you someone who got less than 200 marks in this exam and if you got less than 200 marks in this exam trust me there's a long way for you to go there's a lot of improvements that you have to make You need to break this thirty days down into fifteen days each, and in the first fifteen days, try to focus more on your conceptual understanding and try doing more chapter-wise problems and more into strengthening each and individual concept. Because there was a lot of questions asked from very selective chapters that people were not expecting. Things like mechanics, straight lines, circles, uh, inorganic chemistry, P block, S block, 
they got a lot of weightage even probability permutation combination so try to emphasis more on these chapters try to work on these chapters and at least get these chapters figured out right and at the same time start doing mocks once you have done this 15 days of intense amount of work in improving your conceptual understanding post that in the remaining 15 days just focus on doing a mock every day try to do a mock every day do an analysis and understand where you're going wrong and which mock to do what mock to do the most frustrating thing about people is that they don't set relevant mocks and there are people who actually message me saying that Baya, in the mocks we got 190 180 but in the actual paper i got only 140. this is a problem that we want to address this is a problem which is kind of misleading students a lot this is exactly why we came up with the chat busted for you guys this is to be honest the most relevant mock test series that you'll attempt out there because we have prepared the greatest mocks out there which is not just said by us but said by close to 300 students who have attempted these amazing mock tests and all of them will keep said that you know like these mocks are so great and this helped us a lot and yep that and that just gives us immense joy and we're just so happy and proud of our students who have done well and do check out Bitsat Buster, it can really really help you a lot. I'm not just trying to sell this to you, this is just probably a very very useful decision of purchase that you'll make throughout your entire four years of college or you're probably entering college in like a month or two. So do check it out and if you're someone who is less than 250, which means between 200 and 250, which means that you have a decent understanding of the concepts but then you need to work a lot on speed and many of the people were saying we were not ready for the 130 questions but even if we give them close to three and a half four hours to solve the paper they would have done really well they would have gotten more than 300 plus but then the speed really caught them caught up to them but then they were not able to manage time they were not able to manage stress so this is exactly why you need to give more number of mocks you have 30 days remaining try to give a mock at least every day or at least every alternate day and by doing this, you get to analyze the mistakes, you get to understand where you're doing wrong. At the same time, you get to have the mindset, okay, like this is the kind of questions that are going to come. And this is exactly how I need to proceed forward in the actual examination. So do give as many mock tests as possible. If you have previously J mains papers, that's great as well. But doing relevant Bitsat mocks is very useful for you. Bitsat busted mocks is there for you as well. And at the same time, if you're someone who got more than 250 to less than 300, Kudos to you, you guys did decently well, but you need to do a lot better. And if you really need to push your score beyond the 300 mark, you need to go and get the tougher questions out there as well. Because inside the Bitsat paper, you might have noticed some of the tough questions, some of the questions in ionic equilibrium, which involve buffer solutions, which involve KSP, and sometimes even the tougher questions in definite integration or differential equation that you may not be able to be solving. And at the same time, there are tougher questions in logical reasoning as well that you need to go and tackle in the second attempt of Bitsat. And this is something that you need to prepare yourself for doing the tougher level of questions. And this is exactly why from mock 11 to mock 15, we have set slightly tougher papers inside of Bitsat Busted Mock so that when someone is going to write the actual exam, they get an actual feel of the paper and they actually go ahead and do the tough questions. And by understanding the solutions and learning from it, your score is bound to get boosted. And if you're someone who got 300 plus, congratulations to you. And I would just say that keep going the same path that you're going in. If you're someone who's preparing for advanced seriously, do well in that also. And at the same time, do well in the Bitsat second attempt as well. Don't think that I've done well in the first attempt. I'm not going to done the second attempt. Do give the second attempt. Maybe if you get a better score, that's good. If not, it's it's still 300 plus is a great score. Maybe like if you're tackling something like a CS at Bitsplani, then you need to like push your score even higher. Right. And that's it from my side, guys. Do practice as many questions as possible. Now you guys know the pattern and now you guys know what relevant mock test series is out there. And this is going to be a great, wonderful time for you in the next one month. Take maximum advantage of it. Understand where you're going wrong. Join the Bitsat Buster community. We have live sessions in the weekends as well to discuss doubts. At the same time, we discuss almost every day with the students who message us and DM us trying to help them out on a day-to-day -day basis. This gives us immense joy and I'll see you guys until the next video. Bye-bye.